What's going on guys? Cinematic stuff here. Today, I'm at an abandoned high school. I have a ton of history on this place and I'm gonna give it to you guys in a minute. But first, I just wanna tell you what we're in for today because this place is wild. This high school has a theater with an original piano in it. This place has a pool, which is the oldest pool in the state. It's actually the only pool in this city. It has classrooms. I'm actually in one of the classrooms right now. It has everything. Everything that you could think of in a high school, it's here. And we're gonna go and we're gonna check this place out. So let's go. In the 1920s and 1930s, there was a lot of immigration coming to the city. So there needed to be more school buildings. The city built this school in the center of the city and planned to open it in 1918. It didn't open on time because there was a flu outbreak and so many people were getting sick and dying that the local hospitals couldn't handle it. So the school was commandeered by the city and used as a hospital and a morgue until May of 1919. By then, the city opened it as a high school only to turn it into an elementary school in 1981. In 1994, they closed it for good because they had a new facility elsewhere in the city. The school was supposed to be demolished, but some resident of the city bought it and has been working to restore it. So this is the classroom that I was just standing in talking to you guys. So let me show you guys what this place looks like. It's pretty dope actually. Dude, they still got... They still have stuff written on these cards, check this out. Dude, this place was built in like the 1800s and it still has writing here. So yeah, there's a ton of classrooms in this place. So we're gonna go and we're gonna check this place out. Oh wow, that's actually kinda creepy. Guys, check this out. And all you can hear is the water dripping. That's, that's like a little trolley horse, like a plaything for children. That's so weird. Yeah, guys, I can even see like just the, the small town outside this window. Like, it's so weird. Oh, we just came into a little more of the old bathrooms. These are the original bathrooms, guys. That's crazy. Dude, I just realized that these windows, these windows right here are, are open. You can see the city. Well, not even a city, just a small town. Sometimes I prefer small towns anyway. Sometimes cities can be ridiculous, but I mean, for photography wise, cities are definitely the way to go. So this, uh, the theater is literally right there, but I want, I want to wait. I want to do what's around it first and then go in. Like I want to, I want to do like a special unveiling because the theater is freaking it's beautiful. I'm looking at it right now. It's crazy. Oh wow, this is a nice classroom. One chair, one old chair. Check that out. But again, you you just see that there's just the town, and this is just the high school. It's, it's just a normal place that people would actually go to school. This place was actually high school and then in elementary school. With that old phone over there. There's even still chalk on the chalkboard. That's nuts, dude. It's crazy. Okay, you guys ready for this? We're gonna go see the theater. insane. This theater is crazy. And I know there's a balcony above us, so we'll go and check that out after. But dude, look at these seats. They're still just, just here. And then the really, the really old piano. I think the tour guide, the guy running the workshop, 
Bob actually said that that piano is a, is original. Let's go on the stage for a second. Pretty cool, guys. Look at look at how many seats are in here. <laughs> guys, there's like one or two keys on this piano that still work. That's crazy. That thing's from like the 1800s, and that it still works. That's insane. So this place has a a balcony. The theater has a balcony. And there's even more seats up here. So check this out. So right across from the um, from the balcony of the theater, you come in here, and it looks like it was another classroom, but I don't know what they're gonna be turning it into. So guys, um, I might seem like a little bit different in this video as compared to the rest of my videos because like I'm in a little bit of a different environment with the whole workshop thing. Like I'm not, I'm not really a tourist person. I kind of like to just go off by myself and do my own thing. And I don't know, I'm still new to the whole YouTube thing. So like recording in front of people and trying to do my own thing is just a little weird. It's something I'm definitely getting used to. So just bear with me. can't tell I'm on the roof <sighs> yes yeah, so apparently there was roof access so we just took we took a trip up on a really wobbly ladder it's a nice little view of like a really small town and I really dig it like I was saying earlier I really do love small towns it's just when it comes to like city photography, nothing beats that, especially at night. This is quite the view though. I'm really, I'm really, really digging this guys. Check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of pictures up here too, and then I'm gonna head back down. code. 
I will not obey the rules. <laughs> and over here it says, I will not chew gum in school over and over. Oh man. I remember writing stuff like that on the chalkboard when I got detention in elementary school. This was probably written during the time that I was in elementary school. Okay, I remember this room. Um, in this room, when we were doing a walkthrough, before I started recording, they actually said that this room is going to end up being like a boardroom when they revamp the place. So, I mean, this is probably like the cleanest room in the building. Pretty dope. Guys, tell me not this. This right here. This reminds you of an insane asylum, just because of the way that the doors are. But it's not even remotely close to an in insane asylum. Oh man, another one of those, those like creepy looking rooms that aren't really creepy, but they definitely have a creepy look to it. If they don't tend to the place soon, that, that water is just going to drip right through the floor and it's going gonna, it's gonna to collapse the floor and it's going to be even more of a mess. So hopefully people get on that soon. Alright, so that pretty much does it for the first floor. So now I'm going to head down to the lower floors. I'm going to check out the gym and whatever else is down there. Guys, I'm loving the green tint that I get from some of these places. Let me check this out. It's just got like a green, luminous, like a luminescent tint. I mean, it's all coming from the theater, and I don't get it. It might just be the tint of the windows or whatever, but it looks incredible. Guys, for real, I totally recommend, if you're into like urban exploring and stuff, I totally recommend checking out workshops like this because all the people that do this are all here for the exact same reason. They're all here just to do what they what they love and they're here to create art. It's actually really dark in here, what's going on? And... But yeah, everyone's here to pretty much do the exact same thing and just everyone here is really easy to get along with. It's nice to be able to talk to people and converse about the places you've explored or like what you do when you're not exploring and all that. And, and it brings the community closer together because it's already a small community as it is. Like not a lot of people do urban exploring and a lot of them that do, they're always, they're, they're always putting stupid stuff in their videos like talking about how they, they found a ghost at this asylum or whatever, it's so stupid. But when you come to these workshops, you actually get to see like the genuine people that are just out here doing their thing, just creating art. And that's, that's one thing I really love about workshops. Down here, you can you can feel like an immediate temperature drop. Like it just got so cold down here. Oh man! This place is crazy. I've never been inside of it. Anymore. Gym before, so this is my first. And this is actually really cool. Oh man, this place is awesome, dude. There's even still a basketball here. That's crazy. It's inflated and everything, guys. That's insane. Did you really think I was going to make that shot? Ain't this insane? So I think that what the guy said is that this is actually the oldest pool in the state. And it's the only pool in the city. And that in itself is pretty cool. Like, I mean, there's just nowhere near a, a gigantic pool, but the fact that it's still here after all these years, it's crazy. This, this is awesome.